one of the things you know within our our organization <clears throat> you know companies have mission vision values often and you know usually it's just kind of a tab on the website and kind of a box to check and say yeah we've got one of those you know ours we eat sleep and breathe it you could wake up any of our coordinators across the country out of a dead sleep and they could recite it word for word and, and explain what it means to them but with our values they're a little bit unique the first ones it's, it's loyalty and responsibility but loyalty we look at a little differently because a lot of companies require loyalty when you come on board we want you to be loyal to us we just think that's ridiculous like i don't know you and you don't know me how on earth should be we be loyal to one another but the reality is if we are both loyal to the same mission if we're both loyal to the same vision if we both abide by the same code of ethics and, and morals then we're walking in parallel down the same street and thus are loyal to one another in clarifying culture is to define the core values getting clear on the organization's value means saying out loud what's important to you about how you conduct business and interact with each other and then figuring out how to live those values so within the values of our organization is is they were clearly defined but then they took it the next step further in saying well how do those values show up on a daily basis right. in how we do business and so with our values being loyalty and responsibility but then over time sometimes it's months quite frankly sometimes it's years walking down that road and you look oh hey edwin's still here <laughs> and then another couple of months go by huh still here then it actually develops that actual loyalty to the person uh, so it's very different and then secondly is responsibility which we look at as personal responsibility it's about taking personal responsibility it's it's putting the blame on yourself not on others personal responsibility taking care of yourself first how many of you guys realize that you can't pour from an empty glass? But we spend so much time trying to help other people and take responsibility for other people, our kids, our parents, our friends, our business partners, but we're not taking care of ourselves. But you can't be responsible for anybody else until you've first been responsible for yourself. And it all boils down to taking ownership and understanding that you are exactly where you are supposed to be in your life right now, good, bad, or indifferent, and it's all your fault. Mm -hmm. And until you quit putting the blame on other people and turn those fingers towards yourself, you'll be chained and, and, and you'll, be, you'll be stuck. And so it's all about taking that personal responsibility. And once you've done that, then you can finally look up and take a deep breath and look to your left and right and look to help those that are around you. But just like with, with, within your organization, you know, as you went from one stage to the next, that personal responsibility, when it goes from your head to your heart and it becomes bigger than yourself. Once you took care of yourself financially, yeah, yeah. then it gave you the ability to look up and see those around you with an opportunity. Absolutely. To see like, well, how many more people can we have make this transition like we just did over the last couple of years? Yep. And then when I came on board, once I could take care of myself, finally, then it was, well, how many other people can we recruit into this same system that I can watch go through the exact same transformation yep. and see their life blessed because of it? Um, and that's when it goes from, you know, the idea of going from your head to your heart. But it comes being about me to being about how can we enable others to do the same thing. Right.